welcome to the 25th episode of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Kermodes. Alright guys, so we're getting into the match versus Middlesbrough. So you may be wondering, why in the world am I actually going along and using this team? Well, it's pretty much the last three Premier League games and we're in a title fight versus Manchester United, so I'm going to be bypassing the rules a little bit. So, Alright, so first game of the episode, Premier League match versus Middlesbrough. So this is a title fight, we're competing against Manchester United for it. They've won their game ahead of us. Absolute must win for us. Hopefully we can get the business done against Middlesbrough. They are a solid team. They did get relegated in real life simply because they couldn't score goals. Let's hope they can't score goals against us. I do find it shocking still that they did get relegated given the uh, quality of the team they had. With Alvaro and Negredo, you never think of a team being led by him will get relegated given he played Man City like two years ago. But enough about this uh, sort of rumble on. And, well, they can't be asked to show the lineup. I really hate whenever they do this animation because it legitimately just means I have to go and show you guys the team like this. So, let's go do it. I, we've been doing this way too much recently. So, now we're going to go along and we're going to take a look at the Millsboro lineup. So, they're running a 4-5-1 Ledbetter, kind of a bit surprising starter. You would have thought Darun would have been on. They got Adama Traore, Alvaro and Negredo is their main danger man up top. They have solid center backs, and Valdez in goal is going to be a pain to pay against Valdez, I mean. And yeah, let's get into the match. Jesus. Oh! <sighs> so close. Oh, it's Batshuayi, it's Batshuayi. It's Batshuayi, oh my god, what a goal! What a hit! Macy! Oh, what a stunner! Incredible hit! And Batshuayi has really gotten into his best form recently. What a tackle from Kane, and Batshuayi takes a shot from a stupid angle, and what an incredible finish there. Off the bar and in, angle should have been impossible, keeper was in perfect position, but power beats all and it's into the back of the net that's all that matters one nothing Chelsea oh it's Clayton it's Chakra Salonzo it's Traore it's Traore it's Jesus it's Jesus it's two Gabriel Jesus, what a cross! It's 2-0! And we are well on our way to regaining our spot on the top of the league table. What a brilliant cross from Bertrand Traore, and Jesus smashes it in to the back of the net. Perfect finish. Keeper stood absolutely no chance. And Jesus, yet again, popping up on the score sheet when it matters most. Get in there. It's Bashuai, it's Bashuai, off the post! We're really running rampant right now, and we could easily be up for a double digits game in terms of the goals. It's Traore! Oh! 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 What a hit! Bertrand Traore! And it's 3 0, 31 minutes in! Traore, great run there, and just. Oh my word! What a stunner! What a stunner from Bertrand Traore there. Right into the side netting. Keeper could do nothing. We are absolutely rampant. No doubt. We are cleaning out Millsboro tonight. Oh, oh great. I've just given away a penalty and... Ah... <sighs> You know, I, I never make my life easy, do I? Why, why would I give away a penalty back either? There's no need. There's actually no need. Arsene Grado. Oh, oh, gee, oh, gee, oh, ho, ho, ho. You cheeky son of a gun. It's 3-1, okay. Okay, Almiron is a spastic. Alright, well, that's the end of the game. And, uh, yeah. Good, solid victory over Millsboro. Let's just move on to the match. 
versus Arsenal. This was more of a just get the job done and get into the Europa League semi-final. It's 1-1 at the moment. Uh, we got an away goal. Same result as uh, Portsmouth generally. I mean Porto. My apologies. But yeah, yet again, just schedule woes. Like, just why is the game on Sunday? The schedule is dumb. Yeah, we're just gonna have to sacrifice our team and hope to goodness gracious me that we can actually win this game. All right, so it's uh, gonna be a very tired midfield, but uh, what I'm thinking here is I'm gonna bring in Fabregas for uh, Decore, switch Noble to the CDM position, uh, then I'll switch out Kane for Zuma, Christensen, and Gonzalez will be on the bench. All right, so there you go, that's the team. So four three three false nine. I'm your own with candidate for early sub. We have Ake if necessary. But yeah, this is the team. Let's get into it and hopefully we can go along to grab a victory. <sighs> Huge match, honestly, in the Europa League. Really would like to do well. Uh, it's going to be a brutal match for Arsenal, but I think we can really uh, do what we need to and grab a victory. So yeah, we're going to get into the match for Arsenal. Can we have what it takes? Grab a huge victory over them and make it to the Europa League final. This is a rivalry match. Oh yeah, we won 2-1. My mistake. All right, so second game of the episode, we are playing the Europa League semifinal versus Arsenal second leg. So we are at Stamford Bridge. Any away goals for Arsenal could be devastating for us tonight. We really need to get a goal or two early on so we can hopefully kill this tie off. But you never know. Arsenal do have a very solid team in this game. Uh, was quite disappointed, honestly, in real life to see that uh, Oxley chamberlain did not join Chelsea. Zappa Costa actually looks like a pretty good player from Serie A, kind of like a typical Antonio Conte signing like uh, Marcus Alonso, but a little disappointed. I would have liked to see uh, some more depth, but at least Danny Drinkwater came in. I think he'll be a better player than Oxley chamberlain given uh, how he performed against uh, Malta, I think it was. So yeah, uh, Chelsea, our lineup, it is a 4-3-3 false 9. Jesus, Traore, Masanda up top. We got the usual bunch uh, in defense, except for Davies, who is switching in for Alonso, who's just too tired. Arsenal, so they got uh, Sanchez. Okay, so they're guaranteed playing a 4 2 3 1. Let's see. Oh no, I wonder what formation they're playing. It must be a 4 2 3 1. Honestly, it's ridiculous. Can they not play any other formations? Shot cross. Eek. 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 That's gotta be. Oh my! No, 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 no. What is wrong with you, ref? You want to talk about a challenge? Um, this is certainly one. It says, it says, very yes, we've done it. We have gotten our goal, and even with 10 men, the ref can't shaft us enough. Sask Fabregas does the damage against Arsenal. It's a brilliant header right into the bottom corner. And Sask Fabregas arrives at the key moment, heads it in, and even with 10 men, it looks like we may be going to the Europa League final. It's Sask Fabregas who has punished Arsenal so far in this career mode. I believe that is his fourth goal of the series against them in one season. And there we go. It's halftime. Oh, uh, relief. Absolute relief. Uh, but unfortunately, we're going to have to be forced into some more defensive changes. So I was going to bring someone on more attacking, but it just means I'm going to switch Ake into a uh, CDM role. And then actually, so I'll switch Noble, and then I'll have Ake as a CM, because he can play there. I didn't really want to play him there. I would ideally play him as a CDM, but Given a defender got sent off, we're really going to have to, uh, buck. Oh my! Try all right. It's Jesus! Off the post! It's Masanda! How do you justify calling that a shot? Eek. All right, there we go. We've done it. We have done it. We are in to the Europa League final. It's a narrow 1-0 victory over Arsenal, but it's enough. 3-1 over two legs. It was a tough as heck game, but we managed to pull through when it matters most. Brilliance there. Brilliance. And we are going to be facing Olympic Lyonnais in the final. So yeah, uh, they thrashed the Russian side 7-2 in the semifinals. And yeah, it's going to set up a fantastic match for us. 
quite an interesting one in all honesty. So yeah, that's going to be the end of the episode. So um, I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And the Europa League channel is going to be on the 24th. I love the scheduling. Great job, EA. Great job. I'll see you guys later. Classic EA. Peace!